Be strong and very courageous. How do I be very courageous, God? Be very careful. Be very careful what you let in you, and you will be very courageous when you face what's in front of you. We keep trying to fix what's in front of us. Oh, if they would change. Oh, if I were single. Three years ago, you said if I were married. Which one is it? Because we keep talking about situations changing, but God is talking about conversations changing. The Lord said to Joshua, am I preaching or am I crazy? Be because I think you might be discouraged not because of something that you're facing or feeling, but because of something that you are saying about what you are facing. Grace and peace, grace and peace. Welcome to Truth Seekers with Randy McFoy. This is the channel where I help seekers of the truth find the truth in the Word of God. Now, a uh, friend of mine sent me this tweet from a page master, Adam Page 85. I don't know who this person is, um, but I found it to be a very interesting quote or tweet. And it says, almost every one of Furtick's sermons boiled down to, I know someone needs to hear this right now. You're depressed, but here's the answer. The size of the devil at your door is the size of what God sees in you. You don't let what you're going, you don't let what you're going through stop what's in front of you. Now, says no scripture, <laughs> right? Uh, says no scripture. And I found this tweet to be true of Steve Furtick's preaching on his sermons. Um, according to scripture, Paul, Acts chapter 20, verse 27, the apostle Paul tells the church at Ephesus in verse 27, he says, for I have not shunned to declare to you the whole counsel of God. The whole counsel of God. And that is the role of a preacher. That is the role of a pastor. To declare, to proclaim, to preach the whole counsel of God. No matter how difficult it may be. No matter how uncomfortable it may feel. I have to give you all of it. The full counsel of God. Not just my favorite messages. Not just the ones that I know going to give you a positive response. No, I'm going to give you the full counsel of God, <laughs> right? Um, I don't need to invent my own uh, things. I don't have to give you my own inventions. I'm going to give you the pure gospel. The counsel of God is the pure gospel. Uh, it is the will of God concerning your salvation. So the full the whole counsel of God, the, the full gospel truth that concerns your salvation is divine truth. So in essence, Paul is saying, I am giving you divine truth. I am giving you truth that comes from Christ, truth that comes from the pages of Scripture. I'm not going to give you my own opinions. I'm not, I'm not going to give you uh, a philosophical rhetoric. I'm not going to give you a TED Talk or a motivational speech. I'm going to give you the whole counsel of God, which is the whole gospel. And Stephen Furtick, his sermons are void of the gospel. It is void of the truth that Christ died for sinners. It is void of a call to repentance and faith in Christ. It is void of the power of the word of God that sanctifies the heart towards holiness. There is no holiness in his sermons. There is no cleansing. By the word and by the spirit in his sermons. There is no divine unction. No divine power. Because it is full of you know TED Talks. And motivational encouragement. Now there is nothing wrong with encouragement. But there is. But, there, but we should have biblical encouragement. Um, courage, encouragement, not only for the life that is that now is, but also for the life that is to come. 
our hope is not just for the pleasures of this world. And I'm not saying that God can't bless you. God, God can't uh, uh, strengthen you and encourage you and, and make things better in, in this world today. I'm not saying that, but our hope is in Christ and for his return. Our hope is for the eternal things, not the things that are on earth, not the temporary things. And so I hope you find this encouraging. I hope you open your eyes to see that Stephen Furtick um, is a false teacher um, and that you come into the knowledge of the truth. God bless.